begin? Well, Hypnotic is about a man named Rourke, and he uh, is a man with a wild past, and he is on the hunt for the individual he believes has something to do with the mysterious disappearance of his daughter. And on this journey to uh, find, what hap find out what happened to his daughter, uh, a whole bunch of other secrets bubble to the surface. So I got the chance to read the script about three, four years ago. It was honestly one of the most incredible scripts I've ever read. Uh, it was a mind bender of a script. And, you know, literally one of those ones where every single page keeps the reader guessing. I read it in one, one fail swoop, you know, um, cover to cover. And River was honestly one of the most uh, interesting characters, in my opinion, in the story, um, because there's a double nature to him. And uh, when that penny drops, I think it's going to be an interesting um, revelation for the audience. And it was just a lot of fun to play. And, you know, Robert was incredibly collaborative as to what we could do with the character, because as colorful as he was on the page, he wanted me to bring a lot of my own creativity, my own two cents to the character. So that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's a great one. Everybody just brings their A game, you know, you don't want to be the weak link of this group, you know, whether it's Ben Affleck or Alisi Braga, you know, JD and, and, and Bill, um, they're all just amazing and just, you know, constant professionals at what they do and really have a hold on the character and a hold on the story and uh, yeah, it's amazing to play ball, you know, play catch with these guys, they're incredible. Working with Robert is like getting the golden ticket to go to the Willy Wonka factory, okay, you come here and you leave everything you thought you knew about the Troublemaker Studios process, you leave that at the door and when you come in, it's a completely different experience. And they're all family here. Everybody who's on this set has worked with Robert multiple times. And so there's definitely a feeling of camaraderie and a feeling of family on this set. And yeah, you just want to come in and you don't want to be the, you know, the adopted child that's a bit, a little bit weird or sticks out a little too much, you know. Um, you, you want to come in and you want to blend in and you want to play your role. So yeah, it's been incredible being in the studio and being in the the crazy, magical, mystical world of Mr. Rodriguez. Yeah. My favorite part of the movie is absolutely when the ball drops. You know, when we go in right into the third act and, and the veil has been pulled over um, Rourke's eyes, played by Ben Affleck, and he sees the world for what it really is. You know, it, it's, it's just such a gut-wrenching moment. And, you know, you, you don't believe what you see. You know, from that moment on in the movie, every single thing that happens you're not quite sure of what's happening, you're not quite sure of what real is, you know, and not to be political about it, but we're in a day and age where the truth is, you know, um, is on the verge of being extinct, you know, the truth is fighting for its uh, place in the world. So I think there's an allegory there for, for truth and for what is truth and, you know, how do you decipher what's real from what's not real and, you know, this is a movie that's going to mess with people's minds uh, when they leave trying to figure out, you know, what's real and what's not real. So for me, yeah, when, when, when Ben wakes up to the reality of his world, that's an incredible moment. That's what you go to movies for, period. I just hope audiences have a great time at the movies, man. This is just one of those fun, incredible popcorn movies where you fall in love with these characters and every minute that goes by is a mystery. Everything is, you know, up in the air as to where the story is going to go and where our, where our characters are going to find themselves and so I just I love movies that just keep audiences at the edge of their seats you know trying to figure out what's going to happen what's happening and, and that's what I want audiences to have a roller coaster of a ride of a movie you know something where you walk out you're you're blown away you know and uh, one of those movies where when you go to you know dinner afterwards the conversation keeps going as to what it is that you just saw that's what I, ho I hope for audiences Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!